Okay, and welcome to my final secret achievement video for Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Tenkaichi. Now, I said to you that in two days I would tell you more about the character encyclopedia secret achievement on my Purunga, um achievement, summoning one of the dragons. Okay, basically, in this secret achievement, all you have to do is when you complete the game, you have to run into your capsule house, well, not run literally, but go into your capsule house and read every single character profile. Basically, if you're not going to do it the first time round, if you do it at the end of the game, reading all 62 characters will take about 6-7 minutes to read through. Even if you're just scrolling through, it still takes average 6-5 to five minutes. You don't have to scroll down, what I'm doing there. You can just basically press A and then B to exit. Just as long as you click profile, it recognises in the game. So read every single character's profile to get the secret achievement. There was... There's four secret achievements altogether. Obviously the first two, one is summoning Purunga on Namek and one is summoning Shenron from Earth. The third secret achievement is when you complete the game, when the credits come up, it says thanks for watching. That is basically the third secret achievement. But this is the fourth secret achievement. If you go to dashboard, go to achievements, scroll to Dragon Ball Z, go all the way down, right at the bottom of the achievement list, there will be achievements saying secret achievement, which is this one here. So, when you complete the game, just pop back into Capsule House before you go into Hero Mode and basically, yeah, just read through every single person's character profile. As I said, you don't need to scroll down. I just did this about 10 minutes ago, so I went through every single player, but I think I missed one or two because the achievement hasn't popped up. So I'm starting a new video again to hopefully pick the person. I know that the person was on the first page. There's five, obviously, five pages of characters and He's sure he's on the first page. Um, I'd also like to announce there is no Goku Super Saiyan 4 or Vegeta Super Saiyan 4. There's only Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I don't understand why they haven't put these characters in the game. The campaign is very, very short and it skips half the characters as well. But there are some HD movies in it and they are very good graphics. They're very good quality. And it, it, it's an all-round good game. I'd suggest you buy the game if you haven't played it. And there we are, the fourth and final secret achievement for Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Tenkaichi. Basically, if you've got PlayStation 3, doesn't really matter. It works on both formats, Xbox and PlayStation 3. So hopefully you'll get your secret achievement. And yeah, just stay tuned. Um, could you please subscribe to my YouTube site? Um, and if anyone would like to play me. Oh, one more thing, Dragon Balls. Um, when you complete the storyline, the Dragon Balls will not reset, so once you finish the Dragon Ball Z storyline, Dragon Balls will not reset into the Dragon Ball world. So you have to go into Hero Mode and start collecting the Dragon Balls through Hero Mode. And here are some of the HD movies in the actual main storyline itself. I haven't unlocked the last two videos, so if anybody knows what they are, I'd like a message please on someone telling me. Or if I have to get them through Hero Mode, or I'm not too sure. But yeah, basically that's it people, they're your four secret achievements for Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Tenkaichi for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and there's Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta there. Stay tuned for more secret achievement videos via my games, and yeah, subscribe to the website. Okay, thank you and peace.